And, and again, look, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of short sellers out there that have been borrowing stock they didn't have. In other words, yes, I think there are Make dynamics shorts, where yeah. retail investors can get caught. What's up, guys? I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're going to be talking about AMC stock. We're going to go over exactly the illegal activity that's been going on with AMC stock that could potentially affect this stock price significantly. We're going to go over naked shorting. What is the difference between naked shorting, naked calls, which one is illegal and what to expect for AMC stock for next week. So I'm going to cover all this important information in this video coming up. Now, as you can see over here, we have the AMC stock on Friday. It closed at $47.91, which was down 6.58%. After hours, it's additionally went to the downside. It's down 8.75%. We're currently sitting at $43 in after hours. So there's been a lot of issues that's been going out with this company, especially since we learned that hedge funds are potentially attacking this stock illegally of course a lot of people are speculating it but we saw that people confirmed on, on mainstream media basically on cnbc we have the anchor that's basically stated that you know hedge funds people that are betting that amc stock should be trading lower they've been doing a shorting that was that's illegal basically so we're going to go over what is naked shorting? So before I explain to you exactly what naked shorting is, what is naked calls and etc., let's check out the video to see exactly you know what they specifically said about AMC and naked shorts. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain naked shorting. He conceded that AMC shares are probably not worth what they're worth right now on a fundamental basis. Maybe they're worth 20 or 25 bucks a share. But he also said that at 47 or whatever it's trading at right now, I don't know what it is in the after hours, um, that that is what the market is valuing AMC shares at right now. And that is all that matters. And Tim, you're already shaking your head. Why not? Why, why isn't that the case? Because short sellers aren't going after retail investors. They're going after bad companies. I mean, it's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Smart guy. But I mean, come on. I, I'm tired of this and this, you know, this going after the man thing. I mean, look, if, if yes, you can make money in momentum, you can lose money in momentum. But again, it's like Mr. Obvious Day. All right. That that to me is a dynamic here um, that, that, that ultimately the momentum that's being uh, where the genesis is in a chat room. It, it, and, and yeah, I mean, price can be truth in terms of a company being able to issue shares at a higher price doesn't change the company's business. Uh, Rich Greenfield also talked about Cinemark and other theater companies that aren't going through this kind of renaissance. Uh, and I mean, in terms of their share price. So, uh, again, I, I, I the investing with a incentive to track momentum is what a lot of professionals do. So mm -hmm. let's be clear. Um, but in terms of looking at this as an us versus them, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not buying into that. I think that's dangerous. And, and again, look, there's a lot of people. There are a lot of short sellers out there that have been borrowing stock they didn't have. In other words, yes, I think there are dynamics shorts, where yeah. retail investors can get caught. But it's 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 really a, a dynamic where I think this is going after bad companies. Yeah, but here's what's interesting. It is actually changing what Wall Street does, how it does it. Um, there's a report on Bloomberg saying that various prime brokers are tightening the requirements um, necessary in order to short some of these so-called meme stocks. Guy. So now let's talk about what is naked shorting. So naked shorting is the illegal practice of short selling shares that have not been affirmatively determined to exist. Ordinary traders must borrow a stock or determine that it can be borrowed before they sell it short. So naked shorting refers to short pressure on a stock that may be larger than the tradable shares in the market. So this is very illegal because you can definitely just make up the amount of shares that you want to short and then just start shorting it. Even though you don't even own, you didn't borrow it, you can just make up as many shares as you want and you can definitely affect the stock price by doing that. So this is definitely illegal. So despite being made illegal after the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Naked shorting continues to happen because of loopholes. So it still exists to this day. So it's not a surprise to see that hedge funds and all the other people that are shorting AMC stock are using this naked shorting strategy 
to basically manipulate this stock price to the downside. So this is really, really important. So the key takeaways, of course, is that naked shorting is a legal practice and ordinary traders actually must borrow. If you want to short a stock, you must borrow from your broker, from a different firm and etc. before you start shorting it. But if you participate in naked shorting, it is definitely illegal. So the important thing that you need to understand, of course, right now is that these hedge funds are definitely taking advantage of the loopholes and some of the advantages, some of the connections that they have to basically apply a lot of downside selling pressure on AMC stock. So the other important thing that you need to also understand is that there's another term called naked call writing. So this is also basically you are selling call options naked. So this is a very high risk strategy. So when you are selling an option naked, that basically means that you don't have any kind of protection. You don't own the share of the stock. You're not actually hedged in any kind of way. You're just straight up selling a call options, anticipating that the stock price is going to go down. And the downside is that you don't know how far the stock could potentially go. Theoretically, it can go to the upside exponentially against you. You can lose a lot of money. We have hedge funds that actually blew up mainly because of this strategy, naked call writing. So the difference between these two are basically this is for options and this is basically for the shares, you know. So one of the important things you want to be looking at, of course, for naked shorting, since they did not borrow the shares, they have to cover their shorts the same day. So this is one of the things that you need to be understanding when you're looking at naked shorting. Since naked short sellers have to cover their positions at the same day, they have to buy back some of the shares that in turn is going to potentially make the stock price go higher, especially right before the market close if they decide to close out their position. So this is massive news for AMC stock, you know, hedge funds and all the people that are shorting AMC stock, they're doing whatever it takes to illegally make this stock to go down. So unfortunately, the stock price is actually down the past two days. But however, you know, AMC stock we talked about a few days ago, they filed an SEC file in AK. They mentioned that they're going to be doing an offering, of course, and the stock price can be extremely volatile. So they warn investors, please be careful. You can potentially be losing money if you decide to get involved in it right away. So they said that and eventually the stock price actually went down a lot. But we had more positive news that came out with the CEO, the CEO confirmed that they're not going to be doing additional offerings up until next year. So we have plenty of time for the stock to potentially bottom out. So for it to consolidate at some, at some price point. So what could be the price point that AMC stock could potentially consolidate? So what could be the bottom? I think it can definitely come down to $40. It can retest it because an after hours is it's getting close to $40. If it can potentially bottom out at 40, maybe $35, between 40 and $35, that will be ideal and that we can just consolidate and stay there for a while before we have another surge up to potentially retest the highs, you know. So that is gonna be the price action that we can expect. And a lot of people are coming up front, you know, exposing that there is definitely illegal activity going on with AMC stocks. So we can potentially see some more downside selling pressure coming in if people decide, you know, to, to sell out of their positions or, you know, these attacks continue to happen. But I believe that the lowest that we can possibly go in the short term, as I mentioned, is going to be between, you know, 35 to $43 by next week, the lowest. But if we see some kind of momentum to come up, we can definitely, you know, be staying at, you know, 15 or even $60, you know, so that's going to be the short term price target for AMC stock. So when you look at exactly, you know, the options prices, right? We talked about the options a lot the past few days, the last two, three, four videos that there've been a lot of options, buyers and sellers that have been actively participating, right? So especially the strike prices that we're looking at with a $73 strike prices, we saw the $50 strike prices, and we also had the 40 around the $43 strike prices that have been super active right unfortunately all of those options expired worthless so there's been millions and millions of dollars that have been lost i know a lot of people made a lot of money the previous week when amc stock went up a lot 
But unfortunately, this week, in spite of what happened with the with the, with share dilution, etc., you know the option prices eventually went down, and we actually saw a lot of these options expiring. So right now, when we look at them, when we're moving into next week, we have some options that we need to be watching out for, especially for the call side. We have to really pay attention to what are investors positioning themselves. What are the strike prices that they are buying and loading up on for them to make a lot of money for next week? So there's been massive activity going on in the short term for next week expiration, June 11. For the $50 strike price, we have more than 42,000 volume and we have the open interest around like 12,000. So we, when we move forward to the upside, let's see some of the important strike price we need to be watching out for. The other important is going to be the $60 strike price that we need to be watching out for. We have more than 14,000 open interest. The volume is 45,000. And the other important strike price that we need to be watching out for for next week is going to be close to $70. So all of these, you know, even numbers like the 70, the 60, the 50, these are going to be crucial. We'll be moving forward for next week. So definitely keep an eye on these options. As you can see, there's a lot of open interest on these options contracts. We'll see what next week has to bring, but I'm going to leave you with that. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on AMC stock and check out the link in the description box if you want to get free stocks. But I catch you guys on another video. Peace out.